of emotions and being in business with your sister is so much fun it's so nice to have someone that you're truly close to side by side there to you know support you it's so much fun i feel like if there was a secret camera in our office we could have our own reality tv show it's yeah it's a bunch of fun yeah so 10 years ago i was down there set up a stall rachel would carry the tent and that's where we began so we had a card table full of jewelry and week by week we just became more hooked yeah, it was a lot of hard tolling work. It was out in the freezing cold elements of Tassie, but it was definitely the best start to the business. I'd love to say no, but the reality is yes, but not as much as we used to now that we've had mediation. Yes, we have been to professional <laughs> counselling. We've got this down pat after 10 years. We're good to go, but it's always productive. When I was 12, I walked into a beading store and my love affair began. Being the younger sister, I wanted to do absolutely everything that Hannah did, so yeah, I learned all of the ropes from her. That is one thing that we are so proud of, still making in Hobart where it all began. About half of our jewellery is hand beaded in the office and we always beaded our bracelets, so that's something that will never change. Yeah, one of my favourite things walking into Frank HQ is just that there's so much going on. We've got production, customer care, marketing, and then on your right you look into this beautiful glass office and all of our girls are in there beating our bracelets and making our earrings. It's really special. I think starting a business from scratch, so many waves are breaking moments, uh, but I think the biggest one was when we were broken into. We literally only had the stock that was in the store and I walked in one day and it was all gone. Yeah, that was horrible. And then I think most recently for us was, you know, I was going through adrenal fatigue and then all of a sudden our Instagram account, which is my absolute baby, had been hacked and it took us two weeks to get it back and that was just horrible. I think back when we had our first store, I went into the store to get some stuff before we opened the markets on a Saturday and didn't realise that I left the store wide open at 6am in the morning. Yeah, that was terrible. I walked in, it was all pitch black, but there were customers in our store and I was kind of going, has anyone served you yet? And they were like, no, no one's here to serve us. Four hours later. Yeah, four hours later, I was in there to help serve them, so it was all fine. <laughs> if I had told my younger self back at the markets that this is where we would be, I think I'd fall off the chair. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. I was meant to be traveling. I was only on a gap year. It's been the longest gap year of my life. Hannah's held me captive, so yeah, definitely didn't think that I would be here 10 years old. Hands down, our contribution to community, which is donating over a million dollars to Australian charities and also bringing them awareness. That's something that's so close to our heart and something that we're really proud of. Yeah, absolutely. The giving back component of the business is definitely what we're most proud of. I think on a business element, Hannah and I shooting our campaign in Florence with our mum beside us, that was amazing. The Decade Collection for us is really a celebration of the last 10 years, something that epitomises our journey and where we've been and where we want to go. Yeah, so it's all very classic Francesca designs, simplicity is key, layering them up, and we've got our logo in there which makes it so special to our company, and yeah, every single piece has been hand designed.